Another hack that you have in the book that is so simple, completely free, is after we eat, move. Mm-hmm. Novel idea. Like what? It's so like, why don't we do that? But it's <laughs> it's like we don't. We don't do it. And many people don't do it because they don't even know the importance of it. There's so like yeah. there's all these fancy workouts to do. They just underestimate the power of just moving and walking. What's the research show? So your muscles are also big consumers of glucose, like everything in your body. And when you go from like sitting in your couch to sprinting after the bus, the amount of glucose that your muscle cells need goes from zero to 10,000 X. So there's a real, real, real increase in consumption of glucose by your muscles when they're moving, when they're exercising. Your muscles are really hungry when they move. The first place that your muscles look when they're looking for glucose is in your bloodstream. And so we can use this to our advantage. Here's what the research shows. If you do 10 minutes of movement after a meal, this can be walking, folding your laundry, dancing in your living room. You can also go to the gym if you want, like whatever. You can do squats in front of the TV, which is one of my favorites. (laughs) If you do this, you significantly, significantly lower the glucose spike of the meal you just had. And you need to do this within an hour and a half after the end of your meal. And so what's really interesting is that as you do this and you reduce the glucose spike of the meal, then all of the usual symptoms that people get usually after 90 minutes after eating, like having a craving for something sweet, feeling hungry again, feeling tired, like those things go away because you're flattening Mm. the glucose curve. And again, this is a hack that does not require you to change what you're eating, you know? Right. So super powerful one that I love, um, that I use almost every day. And you say people don't do it, but actually, again, like, Traditionally, many cultures have a tradition of walking after meal. Right. You know, in Greece, they do this. In India, they have this saying of 100 steps after a meal. Like, it's as if we knew this yeah, for a really long time, but we just kind of disconnected from that knowledge. Yeah.